Hello folks, I'm Richard Moore, North Mississippi Anti-Gang Stalking Association on Facebook, YouTube, United States Anti-Gang Stalking Association. You can also follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, Twitter, the list goes on and on. <clears throat> While they're still available, as you, many of you know, the uh, if you're conservative in the least bit, then uh, you stand the possibility of being uh, uh, severely blocked or completely just um, done away with. So, but I, I do have contingency plans. One thing that uh, won't stop is um, is me telling the truth and telling it like it is. And so, I'm going to try to keep as brief as possible. I know it's difficult, but I'm going to try to keep it as brief as possible. Uh, I, I get a tremendous amount, in, and I do encourage uh, folks to reach out. And you can reach me through Facebook. You can, uh, you're welcome to private uh, send me a, a private message and um, uh, tell your story and, and what have you. Many victims. Um, know that we exist on social media but the majority the majority of victims not just in this country but globally have no idea there's a name for this organized criminal stalking now the uh, home office if you will the perpetrators of these crimes and that and add crimes against humanity start from the highest levels of government better known as the deep state department of homeland security which is uh, uh, each state has one there's uh, 78 uh, fusion centers in the country and these are privately owned uh, entities own it and state employees it's not a federal agency uh, now there's a federal homeland security um, and that's just uh, pomp and circumstance. This is, um, there's nothing about the D8 Department of Homeland Security Fusion Centers, nothing about it federal. No more than Federal Express is a, a federal agency, nor is the Federal Reserve. It's a play on words. And through, through this program, uh, it is facilitated uh, with their data and law enforcement. So we have uh, the FBI to thank for that and their uh, InfraGuard wing, uh, division if you will, they have 79 InfraGuard offices around the United States. So is it any wonder why a, a victim uh, would make multiple complaints to the FBI only for it to fall on, on deaf ears and to be ignored? And we're speaking of American citizens that systematically have their civil and constitutional rights denied, due process denied. Uh, their names are added on a list that you'll never get to see. Uh, this is uh, all done in, in secrecy. And through that, uh, these checks and balances that they keep on individuals is a, is a crock of BS. This is how they're able to bilk uh, not the government. They're not bilking the government. The government doesn't have any money. It's taxpayer dollars. My money. Your money. And these agencies, government agencies, are stealing this money. Hundreds of millions of dollars. And then it trickles on down to, to the uh, uh, volunteer fire departments, emergency management uh, services, and so forth. And those, that's where the rubber meets the road, folks. The e EMS workers and these, uh, uh, these Citizen Corp, Community Watch, uh, these people, uh, for the first time in their life, most of them, I feel like they have a purpose and um, they're, they're really doing something good. Um, it, it doesn't take, uh, a person with a, a high IQ is really not gonna fall for this deal. But they, so they attract the uh, 
uh, those that uh, are, you know, a couple of sandwiches shy of picnic and, and driving a Kia or Hyundai or something along that line or aspire to have one. And uh, these are the ones. They, they, want it, they belong to something now. They, they fit in. And so they systematically torture, harass, stalk, uh, and infiltrate every aspect of their life. So I've, I've, uh, I've made other videos about this, and you can you can do 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 your own research, but uh, I caution you on that. The biggest uh, presence of organized criminal stalking, ladies and gentlemen, is on social media. Facebook, for instance, uh, targeted justice. It's, it's, it's fake, phony, fraud, period. I've said that in post, and I have people that, that want to uh, send me a message, well, it's just exactly what, they, what are you saying, or how do you know this, or whatever. Um, and I've made that real clear. Uh, the, what the founder, or one of the founders, you'll never get to the box. If it's, listen, if it's convoluted and loaded down with mass confusion, then, friend, there's something wrong. I mean, if, if, uh, if you're talking about it and just, and it's, and the more you talk about it, the more complicated it seems. It's, uh, usually the bigger the lie, the bigger the crime. And so that's what we're dealing with. Uh, so these, uh, individuals, and I've been targeted for years, but you know, but these individuals like targeted justice, uh, their the founder, this is on their deal, founder, Midge Mathis. First of all, that's not a real name. Now we, we should stop right there. If I wanted to have full transparency of my uh, mission and my objectives, I, I don't believe I'd be using fake names on uh, on the website as a founder. That person, Midge Mathis, is, that's a made up name, okay? Now, how do I know this? Because she sent me a message telling me that, okay? Uh, thinking that uh, uh, we're having a come to Jesus meeting and I'll just be honest with you. Maybe you want to tell the truth. Well, that's not going to happen. And so a, a friend of mine and I caught uh, Midge in Cave Creek, Arizona, stalking. It was stalking me and, and stalking the lady I was with. I didn't know who she was. Um, it, but it was brought to my attention. I mean, I saw her and I said, you've got to be kidding me. She's a, a perverted, creepy stalker, okay? So, uh, I, I have, I talk with a lot of people, not on uh, social media, There's, I, but I do talk with a lot of people and I get good information. And uh, the, so the jury is in with a verdict on, on this deal with uh, targeted justice. I don't care, but it's, well, they've got good information and all that. Says who? You know, you can go dumpster dive and you might find a good piece of food in there, but I mean, really, is that where you need to be looking for a meal? Um, I, they, uh, I would hope that they were just heavy laden with good information. I mean, hell, the, uh, they're the ones perping. They're the ones per perpetrating these crimes. They should know everything, shouldn't they? So, I'd be just absolutely flabbergasted if they didn't have good information. So if you want to know what's really going on, go to Target Justice and th these people posing as uh, victims and uh, they're anything but a victim, okay? So uh, a gang stalking database, there's another one. Let's look at the name of it. I mean, it, you can't make stuff like this up, folks. So I get hate mail, and uh, as if that bothers me, you know, uh, I, I want to be real clear. I'm not kissing babies. I'm not running for office. I'm not trying to win a popularity contest. I doubt I'll get Mr. Congeniality. And guess what? 
tough. Most people can't handle the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. Folks, we're in a, in a crucial moment in history. Our past um, election process, the things that, are, that uh, happened behind that, the, the, this COVID deal, the mask, and uh, th these other countries, and they're, they're uh, 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 making people, I mean, martial law, making people stay in their houses and stuff, folks. Uh, this is, um, things are not looking uh, real, real good on that. So, where does stalking come in? Well, these, these are the, the ground, the, the front level, front row crash dummies, okay? And uh, I had a, it is what I wanted to talk about, but I did do a post today on, on uh, Target Justice, uh, three clowns holding a, a banner up, you know, uh, something about views and uh, so forth, and uh, as if the people driving by knows what the hell a view is, okay? But uh, it looks good to the uh, naive uh, airhead T.I. that's, boy, these people are doing such great, well, they've been around since day one. All of these people have been in place waiting for real victims to get out there and, uh, and start trying to figure out uh, what's going on. And, uh, and so the Fusion Center and, and Big Tech Google and so forth, they all work hand in hand to make sure that uh, we get the right search results and, and they put you in the right right group. And so I'm gonna tell you, most of the groups out there, I don't know the numbers, folks. I can tell you this, my group, now do I have some perps? Yes, there's per, they got, perps are everywhere, okay? I'm just telling you, they're everywhere, that, cockroaches. But uh, I, I'm not, uh, I can't spend all my time now. When they rear their head, and uh, and a perp bone flies out of their mouth, they're gone. I mean, it's it's, it's that simple. Plus, it's uh, also uh, it's called evidence. Okay, it shows that uh, these people have been very deliberate in their attempt to uh, uh, facilitate fraud of biblical proportions. Okay, so. Stay on there. And that's targeted justice, uh, a nonprofit, and, and victims are, are sending in a, a monthly uh, subscription or supporting them and so forth. That's fraud. I, I flat out uh, fraud. So uh, I don't care how many banners, and how much good information, what, what they, whatever, doesn't matter. They're criminal, they're criminals. They're creepy ass criminals. Uh, I was interviewed. Uh, I don't know, a couple of, I've had several interviews, but, and I, I don't uh, go back and, and, and read what, to, uh, or, or listen, or, or watch these uh, interviews, but, you know, I, I, I have done them, and we'll continue to do them. Uh, but this particular one was with uh, Fort Worth, uh, a newspaper in Fort Worth, Texas, and, uh, and I, I was informed that the ass clown from Targeted Justice had emailed everybody at the newspaper calling me and the investigative reporter a uh, government contractor perps. <laughs> um, now, I've got a lot of things going on and uh, uh, Target Justice, just, you know, they always want to be the, the uh, horseshack of the classroom and, and make all the noise and uh, and, and, and start uh, doing those kind of things. So, you know, it's tip for tap. You can, that didn't change anything. Uh, no story was retracted. As a matter of fact, there, there's more to come. There's more uh, different reporters and different publications, alternate media, so forth and so on. And uh, I'm gonna make sure, double, doubly sure that uh, that we do get our message out, and also that we cannot ever let people like Targeted Justice and these phony, fake ass perps uh, steal the show. They've got the perp show, okay? Now, since uh, I've started my 
uh, association and started uh, reaching out to people. And I have a global audience. And uh, we are doing real things for real people and taking steps that, that are real solutions that bring us to uh, hopefully to, to the end of uh, this, this free run that it seems like for these people they just they can't be stopped. Well, you follow the money, all the data entry, all the, 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 the records that they're keeping on these individuals that they're uh, creeping, uh, all of those are fraudulent entries, okay? So um, it's a domino effect. When that's coming, I don't know, but it's coming. You can believe that. Follow the money. It's about the money. These people uh, do what they do. One, because they're morons. And two, they, they feel like that they're uh, absolutely won't be held accountable because a, a man with a badge told them it was legal. And, uh, you know, that's the guy. If a man with a badge told you to jump off a cliff, well, I mean, you can't be mad at what happens when you jump off a cliff. Uh, but just because somebody told you or you saw something in writing, uh, that'd make it legal, okay? I'll tell you what is legal. Uh, the Constitution, that's real, okay? The, the civil liberties, that's real. My First Amendment right is real. I was arrested, it's not the first time, thrown in jail, falsely charged. The, uh, folks, it is a broke record. I, I, I've talked about how the uh, Sheriff's Department in Monroe County, Mississippi, uh, and a corrupt uh, attorney and a local police department, how they uh, brewed up a total false charge and all that meant to destroy me forever and ever. Amen. And uh, you would think that uh, the people, especially the people in North Mississippi, would be absolutely outraged at that. Like, really? You mean, yes, really. But it, it seems that uh, they would rather believe or just rather not uh, uh, get into it because what can they do? Uh, millions of babies are murdered, unborn children are murdered every year because people, just like the people I just explained, said, well, there's nothing we can do about it. Uh, you know, unborn lives matter. I need to say that. Where are those bumper stickers? We got white people uh, start this bogus Black Lives Matter movement. And uh, I don't know what, what the, uh, the the deal was. And um, uh, so... Uh, you know, I think it's, uh, you could not. I mean, how, how far would we get if we started a White Lives Matter? Uh, well, that's racist. You see what I mean? It's, uh, it's always um, uh, a double standard, okay? It's always a double standard. The Ku Klux Klan never went away. It's alive and well. It's an all-inclusive. Now, they let Uncle Tom's and Aunt Tom's in. And uh, now they have a meaningful thing that they can uh, uh, get stay on the plantation and get out of here and stalk and deny American citizens civil rights. Dr. King roll over in his grave. Dr. King died for what he believed in. Many and most people uh, will either be in prison or die for something that kicks against the corruption and evil that is represented in what I'm speaking about. Did it surprise me that I was arrested? No. I don't have any these targeted justice and gang stalking databases. These people are going to jail. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I have, and... Uh, they, uh, they, it's just, uh, they, I mean, it doesn't have to be legal. They do, they do it, and you got judges uh, that will gladly sign off on, on any kind of uh, warrant for that because uh, behind closed doors, they everybody is gets on the same page. Can this be proven? Absolutely. So that's what I, I've been working on, and, uh, and here... Hope, I'm hoping that things will be wrapped up here within a few weeks. 
uh, a, a federal lawsuit naming uh, some officials in this state as well as law enforcement and um, as it refers to my civil and constitutional rights being abjectly uh, denied and so there's a procedural uh, process that a person has to meet uh, to, in other words a, a chain of command if you will those uh, this procedural uh, process is um, uh, in in order the elements uh, that are needed and there's five uh, basic elements that uh, uh, a case uh, of this nature needs in order to succeed uh, and I will be able to uh, surpass uh, all of those elements in, in that so this is uh, it's one thing say well let's get up a bunch of people and get it listen some people want to talk about it and I just rather be about it, okay? And so um, that's uh, that that's what's going on here. So if, if you feel like that maybe I've taken too long to get back with you and stuff, trust me. If you don't hear from me uh, just as much as you think you should or, 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 or what have you, uh, don't think for one second that uh, that other things as it in regards to bringing an abrupt halt to organized criminal stalking, those things are all in play, okay? I, this is, they made sure that this was my full-time job. So I tip my hat to them for that. You see, they start with the smear tactics. They tell in the, in the places you go and, and so forth. And uh, I, I mean, I could line people up that work in retail somebody got in here with some bs about me <laughs> you know and th this is what um uh this is the uh, the foundation foundational plank of the platform of these people that stalk they organize in churches fake churches fake christians so that lady uh uh from Oklahoma, uh you know said, you have wrong but you know what it they're quick to gaslight you and I get messages from uh, those that uh, that have stolen from me multiple times, have uh, done every every broken in my house, have uh, tried to uh, stage uh, crimes, everything to um, from being poisoned, drugged. I mean, we, I, listen, folks, that is a long list. Can you believe the audacity? of these people, they, the only thing they can get out of their mouth is how somehow I did something to them. Now, if uh, you cross me and you draw first blood, ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you something. You don't have any bitching rights. You should have took that in consideration when you decided you'd jump into my Cheerios and uh, start a, a rumor campaign. What'd you expect for me to do? Just sit down and say, poor pitiful me? No. So, what they don't do is that they never list of anything that I've said or about that individuals, any individual, that was a lie because that it was the truth. They hate the truth. Whether it be an elementary school teacher that stays high on meth, it was my fault that she lost it. It wasn't the, the, that, that fault. <laughs> it wasn't the dope's fault. Uh, that's a prime example. This is how the machine keeps rolling, is they keep telling the same, telling people how the victim, they tell, how bad that person is. They're mentally unstable. They're criminals. They're on dope. They're all that stuff. That's old hat, folks. That's old hat. Uh, there is nothing, no lie, that a stalker can tell that justifies their criminal behavior. So we're not going to have a conversation about how bad or how good the victim is. It's not your call to make. We have a justice system, whether you like it or not, sweetheart. And um, just because you feel like that you've had a good run at things, and hopefully 
all these people like me will just die out and just shut up and go away. Well, that shit not going to happen, okay? I'm here because God says I can be here, not you. That makes them mad, too, because they think they've got this God thing cornered. Let me tell you, you may have a God thing cornered, but it's not the God I serve. No, sir. The God I serve will never allow one of his to come against one of his own. He said, it, whatsoever you do with the least of these, you've done it to me. I want you to take that to heart. And for the victims that have been uh, ostracized, have been isolated and marginalized and called everything but a child of God, let me tell you something. When you've got God, you've got it all. That's a good day when you're all alone. The clowns and the circus finally leads and you get some time with God. And I'll tell you, folks, that is the only answer. Everything was settled on that cross. Everything was answered. Jesus answered that on that cross. He said, it is finished. And my friends, it is finished. And greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So you can educate yourself all day long. I don't live in fear. I don't, listen, I swear I don't live. I live in fear. I'm not dreading anything. I'm not dreading anything. I've got somebody standing with me, and that's God. That's the reason I'm still here today. And I'll keep saying that. That's the reason thousands of fake people have not been able to destroy this old boy here. Oh, I know you tried. I know, well, he's down. Five got him this time. Let me tell you what. There's a difference between a bunch of fake losers and somebody that's real. And I happen to be real. And when I tell you about God, I'm telling you about a real God that has real answers and has real solutions. Right now, not sometime in, in the distant future, right now, only thing he requires is from you is everything. Everything. He wants it all. But it's a good trait, folks. Because when you give him everything, he gives you everything he has. That's a no-brainer. That's a no-brainer. And, and, and I, I'm a living testament of what I'm telling you, folks. It's not something that, that I'm trying to hype somebody up. Folks, let me tell you, it should hype you up because it, it, that is good news. God made it real clear to me. You, you spend the rest of your life trying to figure things out or let, let me handle things and you, and you start living and uh, doing what. And folks, that God sees all this. He sees it. He knows exactly what's going on. And I'll promise you, folks, he doesn't think it's funny. He's not humoring one bit. Now, you've got these fake people that claim they're, they're, they think they're doing it. Listen, these are not children of God. Let me, let me tell you, that, that is nothing. God will never, he does not work in deceit. He doesn't work in lies. He doesn't work in cover-ups. He doesn't work in FISA courts. He doesn't work on secret lists or through EMS or any of that other stuff. It's not. He doesn't work in confusion. He, he doesn't do that. And, and his people are not on campaigns to go out there and get on a, a, a bullshit mission. And this is what these stalkers do. They, they absolutely have no clue of what the truth is. Then when you tell them the truth, they have a hard time swallowing that. And uh, I don't know any way other than put it out there is, is that I can't uh, uh, whitewash any of this. It can't be. This is, these are a crime. People are dying daily. I know this for a fact. People that I have interviewed in short order, murdered, so, so, uh, suicides, all that stuff. It's, uh, if you look at uh, research, Barry Webb, he's the one that broke the case of how cocaine was introduced in this country in mass it, because it was this, this CIA brought it in. The federal government, the CIA, ran the cocaine business, okay? Now, that's the reason Manuel 
uh, Noriega and Pablo Escobar and all these other people. El Chapo, they look, God forbid, they ever get, get just fit 15 minutes of, of telling it like it is and they're going to say too much, okay? Uh, and, and they show these houses stacked, I mean, uh, with tractor trailer loads of, uh, of pesos. And it, oh, it was American dollars, of course. And, uh, and folks, that was a money-making deal. So very well breaks the story. They, they listen. They called him everything. It and he made it up and all that. This is exactly what they do, folks. They did it to him. And, uh, uh, and the boy, they built out how many prisons. They, 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 uh, and hundreds of thousands of African Americans were locked up. And, uh, I mean, they just, you know, winter, winter, they made money all the way around. Um, at that same government is, uh, is still at work. The deep state is still at work. And, um, uh, and they, they're gonna, uh, they 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 want to have complete uh, deniability, and the people in these corrupt law enforcement thinks they have uh, 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 qualified immunity, but they don't. Absolutely, when when you purposely, willfully, recklessly violate an individual's civil and constitutional rights. There is no immunity. I, I want to be real clear there. Uh, it uh, they make it difficult for a victim to uh, get his message out. I was arrested for that. I called a, 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 a perpetrator on my property, got his tag number, put him on blast, and by God, I'm the bad guy. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna keep doing that, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not gonna stop. Okay, I'm not gonna stop. And uh, what, what what about the trespasser? What about what about well, I mean, what about them? They don't, they don't want to... The, the, the Stevens couple that was murdered in Oklahoma, Mississippi three years ago, I've yet to be able to... For anybody to take a statement. I was there. They know I was there. It, I mean, there's no question about that. Uh, they, they don't want to hear that story. Why? Because it implicates law enforcement and, and corruption at its core. In Chickasaw County, Mississippi, this is not an isolated case, folks. It's not isolated. So what you see and, and and what's really going on, and it's all happening in plain sight, is two different things, folks. Two different things. God forbid that we get at a point in our history where the tax-paying citizen is denied the right to question his government and to question those that are in responsible uh, positions of responsibility. When you start questioning those things, now in the United States, you become the bad guy. Child Protective Services, uh, 800,000 children missing every year. That, nobody is talking about that. I mean, and they can't tell you where in the hell and they're taking these children, they take them away from their their family, uh, their their parent, and, and give them in many cases to pedophiles, freaks, they're sex trafficking, and I've put these people, these people, they're stalking. Let me tell you, it doesn't matter if you hadn't trapped you a, a child and, and got in, in doing that, but the rest of the group, there's other people in the group, y'all in the same pot, by the way. Y'all in the same pot. You just, there's nobody involved in any element of this uh, organized citizen corps, community police, and stalking program that does not share equal culpability of crimes against humanity. We're talking about murder, Emphasize, genocide, we're all, everything is on the table. Folks, that should turn your stomach. But, you know, you it, and let me tell you, they, I'll get hate mail there. Right? You know, it's uh, Linda Blair, the damn exorcist. But it's the truth. It's the truth. And uh, so it, I, sometimes I get a little irritated with these people. Explain to me. I can't believe what you did. How I screwed their life up. Um, I mean, wow. 
let's see, here's what I did. What did I do? Oh, I told the truth. I went public. But somehow that screwed your life up. And I'm the bad guy. Well, first of all, your life was screwed up before I ever met you. It's still screwed up. And uh, don't put, don't, I mean, you know, you blame me with you want to. But uh, I'm going to keep telling the truth. So that's not going to stop. So uh, I, I did, I was out uh, washing my car earlier and uh, had it just a, a, here come the stalkers. You know, they come the color harassment and all that. Uh, I mean, really, folks, it, it's just the textbook picture of a loser, of a loser. These people, um, who knows? I could give to a text turd uh, how they justify. I could care less, okay? Uh, nothing justifies criminal behavior. So it's a color harassment. They're driving by fast or hollering out the, uh, you know, got people hollering out the way. I mean, they just assume. These people uh, saying things like, assume that I'll never see them again. Um, but it would be, it, what, I'm telling you folks, uh, you, it, when you got your kids out there and teenagers or your uh, uh, or your husband or he's out with his uh, cousin, boyfriend, or what, whatever it is, and uh, they're uh, out here writing these uh, uh, big uh, checks with their mouth, uh, they've got to consider this, that uh, not everybody uh, is going to take that check. And you're looking at one of them, okay? As a matter of fact, um, I'm going to do everything I can to cash to cash you out and pull pull that card, okay? And I'm going to pull it. So, uh, there, there's plenty of cowards out here, but you're not looking at one. Don't have a yellow streak. I'm not backing up. I'm not shutting up. Not giving up. Not going to let up. When I told you I'd see you in federal court, Honey, I'm going to see you in federal court. You must know that uh, I don't get my kicks on just blowing hot air. Okay? I will see you in court. Uh, so, it, let the chips fall where they may. That's in, in God's hand. I don't think you can beat God as, as a, a side note to that. Matter of fact, I know you can't. And um, I'm, I am satisfied that uh, I can stand on that 100%. You're not going to be able to game God. And when you're out here and you're tormenting and you're doing the work and bidding for the devil and and you can call it whatever you want to call it, it has many names, okay? The Masons, okay? Uh, you know, they boy, they love this stalking. And, you know, that's part uh, of what is going to make heaven heaven. You know, because when I get there, honey, it won't be the first Mason there. You can believe that. Won't be any Mormons there either. So we can make a long list of who is not going to be there. And I, I, that's that's a sums it up right there. There's no such thing as being a born-again Christian and a Mason or an Eastern star. <laughs> I mean, um, come on now. Um it's a uh, that's fact okay so uh, these so that that's that's the lie that's the, the drum beat many people have been, been in my life they have to you know that have decided you know well we're just not going to talk to him anymore bye Felicia bye I can tell you this you'll never find anywhere where I was a card-carrying, grain-fed snitch, rat, betraying, two-faced, low-down, two-timing coward. But most of you know who I'm talking to and live with it. I can live live with who I am. I make mistakes every day. But let me tell you what, folks. It's not within me to pretend to befriend someone and then betray that and it'd be some high five and Kool-Aid party because I'm getting acceptance from some dumb bitch down here because she drives a new Kia or something or because he's the chief at a volunteer fire department. Give me a break. Folks, let me tell you what. it The uh, uh, mentality is... It's, I, I mean, I, I don't have really the vernacular to, to put it out there like I need to. 
I was having an issue with a garbage truck out here. I called the county office. And after the third or fourth call, a man answered the phone and, and told me he was the director of Homeland Security. I mean, you can't make this shit up. I said, the hell you say? Well, then he, he got mad at me and hung up, you know. And, uh, of course, you don't, you know. And so I, I called Homeland Security in Jackson. And uh, I think I've told you, but I'm telling you again. A lady answered. And it was a lady is supposedly the director of Homeland Security in Mississippi. And uh, but this what, and I said, well, you got uh, a guy up here at, uh, that, uh, the, where you call about the garbage. It said he's the director of Homeland Security. And, she, and her, she said, well, sir, there's a state Homeland Security and there's a federal Homeland Security. And I thought, well, uh, you know, this may be some AI stuff. It, you know, this, she just, uh, this, uh, we're not communicating here. Uh, I said, okay, uh, so, so uh, we were saying that it's federal Homeland Security Director is at the Garbage Department of the County Office in Union County. Well, sir, you need to call law enforcement. I said, I need to call law enforcement. I'm telling you, bro, you can't make this stuff. I need to call. I said, I, 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 I said, look, I don't give a damn. They're not, they didn't answer the phone saying it's Richard Moore. They're, put, they're posing as you, okay? I could care. If you're good with it, honey, I'm Gucci. Why do I need to call law enforcement? I mean, they, they're broke records. Uh, and so I, and I did tell her, for, I, for, I don't think she hung up. I think I got her first, but, um, and that, that's the only way you can win. Who, who can get it out and get, get off the phone with it quick? It's always wins with these clowns. But I said, uh, you know, I said, I, I realized for a long time how convoluted and, uh, uh, and just purposely confusing, uh, this DHS deal is. And you have absolutely, um, uh, uh, just, I, I mean, I am talking about confused. I said, I, I don't even know if I remember how to use a damn phone after I get off the phone with you. I mean, this is crazy. Uh, so my friend Astra called them and, uh, and they, and then it, it, uh, they wouldn't answer the question if the director of Homeland Security was present or not, which we all know. Uh, but, but you know, I, Maybe flew in now a, a black helicopter, and, and maybe that garbage is one of the details. I'm not sure. Hell, I don't know. But uh, uh, they won't know if she was with the Secret Service or the FBI. If, and and uh, that we can't, we cannot answer any more questions. She posted a recording of that, folks. Let me tell you, it's uh, these people that uh, are bilking and stealing and robbing taxpayers for their money uh they don't know the truth all they know is a set of lies and then more lies and then all lies leads you back to whatever call so and so call so and so they're always gonna tell you if you need to make a note of everybody they tell you to call and scratch that out don't call them okay they're all team players this is all works in this holistic approach to policing that holistic approach means everybody's involved okay COVID put countless people out of work, small businesses, took a crippling blow, never to return. Uh, people trying to live the American dream. People, it's our birthright to have life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But that's been denied, many of you. But not every business was a loser when COVID, so a little over a year ago. Walmart, for instance, profit during COVID has already exceeds a trillion, trillion dollars profit. Um, my goodness, imagine that. They never closed, by the way. They closed the churches right off the bat. And, and, and you know what? Well, we all going to do our part. We're not going to go to church. See, that's the problem I've got, folks. We've got too many people in fake churches with wishbones and not enough people that's got backbones. So there's a difference. You either got a wishbone or a damn backbone. And baby, I got a backbone. The day that this country that a red-blooded American sits back and says, well, we can't go to church and assemble because they said not to. People are going to get sick. Well, I'm going to tell you what, folks. People are going to get sick either way. It's 
close to half a million people have died from COVID that, that, uh, over the last year. That is serious. Almost two million have died in the last year in vehicle accidents. Uh, I, I don't know how many people have died in the last 12 months from choking on Big Macs, but I bet you it's pretty damn high. But I can tell you one thing. There's a lot of people dying and going straight to hell because we've got these weak, lily-livered, weak-kneed sisters playing church, won't go in there, and you know what? <laughs> I can't, I just, you know, I'm not going to get on that today. Uh, but these people have, have the, the, the skeleton makeup of a jellyfish, and they're the first ones. You get these youngsters want to put a man bun up and try to look cool and all that. Um, um, and I, I, I know I've had them stalking me and all that. I don't tell. Um, I don't tell. I don't who you try. Who you think you're reaching with a man bun? Okay. I, I mean, you might try getting uh, getting you know, a page on a, 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 a gay grinder page or something like this. You might uh, have more luck with that. But uh, I don't have any to tolerance for anybody that thinks that they're better than somebody else or. Or, or for whatever reason, or think that they can uh, relate to them, and, and uh, or, you know that somehow they uh, we speak the same language and all that. Um, I'm the wrong one for all those games. Okay, I'm the wrong one for all those games. And I and I really, I know I talk a lot, but uh, my, I'm more proficient at, at showing it. Okay, so um, I do believe. And uh, I'm not going to back up. I'm going to stand my ground come hell or high water. I'm going to stand my ground, okay? Period. And uh, so I encourage all victims to uh, maybe unload some of those uh, real quick, quick draw excuses on how and give me a million different ways of why you can't do it, okay? And, and I, for every reason you give me that you can't do it, I, we can draw from history of people that can, like Harriet Tubman. Uh, you know, folks, let me tell you, uh, Mother Teresa, um, you don't have to be uh, what you. a lot of people think you have to be, okay? But I can tell you one thing. God does not operate the element of fear. He doesn't do it. He did not give us the spirit of fear. He said the devil is roaming the earth, seeking whom he may devour. He kills, and steals, and destroys. And Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Folks, that is the absolute only good news you need to hear. That is, the, that is, it's it. It, that is your answer for loneliness, for heartache, for de de depression, for uh, uh, your finances, whatever it is. Jesus said, it is finished. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, don't, don't, it, the bad things in this world, people are quick to blame it on God. Let me tell you what, give the devil credit where the devil's due. God didn't send the first person to hell. Now he's warned everybody about a real and literal burning hell. Okay? The things that are going on right now in this country and globally, it, it's not as if that we haven't been warned that this these it's the scriptures will stand for everything I've all, I've told you to this point. That this is not was no surprise. Of course it it's uh uh we we but you never you know we, we it's hard sometimes to put the a face with a name and all that you know uh we see you know we we picture the uh, riding horses and all this other stuff and who knew it'd be a Kia or a Hyundai. God, I'm telling you, uh, this is the Stephen King version uh, of the deal with these moronic hayseed inbred stalkers. Um, and I'm being nice about all that, but I'm being brutally honest. I'm being, I'm not saying one thing, sister or brother, that I will not inhabit and will continue to say right dead in their face. Okay, that 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 uh, that that's a fact. Thank God that I don't have to look over my shoulder or worry about what kind of lie I've prescribed to or that I'm going to get a big standing ovation because I'm the biggest damn liar of the week or whatever. You're a loser. You're a loser, and I pray for these losers. I absolutely do. That, that's God through me, not this old boy here. 
Um, but I'm going to tell you, but by the grace of God, I, I've been able to do that. And I do that. What they do, their deeds, I absolutely deplore that and despise it. Try not to take things uh, personal because it's bigger than me. I know that there are other people out there that need encouragement. So I want to end it with this, folks. I don't longer than uh, we've gone forever, but um, I have given you uh, a message of, of, of actual truth. And um, it uh, you'll never know what real love is until you know, know the love of Jesus Christ. And folks, let me tell you that there's nothing. And, and when a person uh, allows a God to work within them, then folks, let me tell you, uh, he will move mountains. Revelation says he'll open doors that no man can close. And he will close doors that no man can open. I'm living proof of a real God that is opening those doors and closing those doors. And I'm going to tell you, the devil hates it. And I, I could care less if the devil hates it. I encourage you to please share this video. Uh, if, if you don't do anything, share the video with me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. The United States Anti-Gang Stalking Association YouTube. United States Anti-Gang Stalking Association. That's the support I need. Subscribe and share. Until next time, God bless you.